good evening everyone and welcome to this session master class session on tunnel construction for metro rail projects with a case study on lucknow metro case study i welcome you all on behalf of railway academy and uh, i would like to thank you for taking out your precious time to attend this master class uh, on behalf of railway academy we welcome you all and today uh, we have with us an eminent expert on tunnel construction technologies mr anand kumar who is an independent civil engineering consultant based out of Bang bangalore india uh, he has been part of uh, many projects in india saudi arabia egypt and uh, he has more than 20 years of construction site experience and he would be and he has also written and published a uh, a report of a, a book on tunnel uh, uh, tunnel engineering with the name handbook of tunnel engineering uh, we will share the book details also for uh, with you on your email ids post this webinar so that you could explore this book and if found uh, uh, valuable you may consider purchasing it as well so I would, on behalf of Railway Academy, I would like to welcome uh, Mr. Nanand Kumar with us. Welcome, sir. Anand Kumar, sir, you may unmute your uh, microphone. Good evening, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank the Rail Academy to given me this opportunity to deliver this uh, tunnel construction for Metro Rail projects, Lucknow Metro case studies. It is a, it is based on it is basically case studies. Actually, the Lucknow Metro is the it is the Lucknow Metro is located located in Uttar Pradesh, the biggest state of India, and uh, in the Lucknow there there is a river called Gomti Navar Gomti River. It is passing across the Lucknow, the total length of the river is 7, 960 kilometer. And if we are talking about, if we want to talk about the ge geological condition, the mainly silty clay and the silty sand is sedimented over the soil strata. First of all, we look, up, look, up, look after the outline of presentation. The first one is tunneling opportunities. Anand, sir, Anand, sir I'll just yeah. introduce some uh, 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 decorum for these uh, particular uh, masterclass. So participants, as uh, we will start the masterclass very shortly with Mr. Anand Kumar. So okay. I would like to request you all to uh, type in your questions, queries, whatever queries and questions you have, please type your queries in the chat box. Uh, we will take a short break at uh, 8 p.m where uh, after the break, we will take the questions which you, were, you would have put into the chat box and Mr. Anand Kumar would answer those queries. Once his presentation is completed uh, at around 9 or 8, 8.45, we will uh, open the house for questions and answers. So, you, so we will pick up your questions from the chat box and uh, Mr. Anand Kumar will answer those questions and queries. Feel free to ask as many queries you have regarding the, this particular topic. We will take each uh, question towards the end of the presentation. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, so now I would like to uh, invite Anand Kumar sir to start the presentation, sir. Please go ahead, sir. Okay, okay. sir. Thank the you. outline of the presentation is tunneling opportunities, tunnel construction basics, TBM tunneling, TBM driving under the lower button. It is uh, the TBM driving under the lower button. It was our challenging uh, activities in Lakma Metro project. Next, cross process, then learning outcomes from this webinar. Tunneling can be divided into two parts. The one is transportation sector and the other one is utility sector. There are plenty of job opportunities for the tunnelers among the world. The, if we are talking about the transportation sector, railways, metro railways, light rail systems, suburban railways, high speed, high speed or bullet train projects, highway, highway projects, immersed tube tunnels are there. 
if we are talking about the utility sector water supply sewer line power telecom oil and gas supply projects are there tunneling projects is being constructed in many countries particularly in south asia mina region that means the middle east and the north african countries south east southeast asia to avoid densely populated urban congestion and also to utilize the subsurface there are three types of tunneling methods methodology one is natum tunnel that means new austrian tunneling methodology or it is called as uh, sem tunnel sequential excavation method next one is cut and cover tunnel then tbm tunneling in this lectures mainly we are going to focus on tbm tunneling in tbm tunneling actually there are two methods are there one is epb earth pressure balance technique and the other one is um, slurry slurry tbm method what is tunnel it is an underground or underwater passage dug through the surrounding soil or rock or earth the shape of the tunnels are circular x shaped section elliptical section horseshoe section d shaped section the term new austrian tunneling method popularly known as natum got its name from austria it was first used by rabsbees in 1962 it got worldwide recognition in 1964 the first use of natum in the south down tunnel in the frankfurt metro in 1969 the second one is cut and cover tunnel the cut and cover tunnel actually constructed by d1 it is it is also called as diaphragm diaphragm wall method method it is constructed from top to bottom first we are going to see bottom up method in bottom up method installation of temporary excavation support walls such as soldier piles seed piles slurry walls and second piles second pile walls are need to be constructed next dewatering within the trench if required excavation and installation of temporary wall support elements such as stud construction of the tunnel structure by constructing the bottom slab complete construction of walls and then roof slab applying Water, water proofing as required. Then backfilling to final grade and restore restoration of the ground surface. The advantages of the bottom up method of uh, cutting cover tunnel is water proofing can be applied to the outer surface of the structure. The inside of the excavation is easily accessible for the construction equipment. and the delivery storage and placement of materials drainage system can be installed outside the structure to channel water or divert it away from the structure the next one is top down method initially we need to find out the uh, uh, traffic diversity we initially we need to set up the traffic diversion then utility identification then setting out survey reference point for excavation of the guide wall then construction of the guide wall then excavation of d wall by using polymer we are using polymer to avoid to protect to not, not to collapse the soil there are uh, three kind of test test is available to find out the uh, good polymer the one is uh, viscosity test another one is uh, um, density test and then uh, availability of sand content then check the verticality of the trench by using cotton machine then insert water stopper in stop and groove then lowering the reinforcement gauge by using the crane then lowering the trenny pipe for concreting then stop and extraction by using a hydraulic jack and crane then excavated muck disposal the advantages of the top down construct uh, cut and cover method is it allows early restoration of the ground surface above the tunnel the temporary support of excavation walls are used as the permanent structure walls the structural slab will act as internal bracing for the support of excavation 
thus reducing the amount of the back required. It requires somewhat less width for the construction area. Easier construction of roof slab, roof, roof slab since it can be cast on prepared grade rather than using bottom pumps. It may result in shorter construction during by overlapping construction activities. The disadvantages of the top-down construction methodology is inability to install external walls proof, external waterproofing outside the tunnel walls, more complicated connections for the roof slab and base slabs, potential water leakages at joints between the slabs and the walls. Next one is the TBM tunnel. The first tunnel boring shield was developed by Sir Mark Brunel to excavate the Rother Heat Tunnel under the Thames in 1825. However, this was only the invention of the shield concept and it did not involve the construction of a complete tunnel boring machine. Uh, mainly we are going to focus on the TB tunneling in which is some of the contents are, I have prepared. The one is casting at the tunnel layout, soil profile, tunnel facility, launching shaft, TBM assembly, initial and the main drive, TBM driving under low power burden, tunneling cost. First of all, the casting yard. In casting yard, mainly that the access road need to be set up initially. Then EOT crane, electric overhead, that means electric overhead traveling crane. Then factory layout, aggregate storage area, boiler area. Actually here we are, for the precast coverage segments, we are uh, not going to use this uh, um, water curing. We use the steam curing by producing through the boiler, 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 boiler steam. Next, diesel generated set area, storage area, batching plant, way bridge. Actually, there are two types of uh, segments are there. One is uh, universal segment and the other one is tapper segment. In, in Lucknow Metro, we use the universal sector, universal segment. Actually, this is a twin bolt tunnel. The segment di outer diameter is 6.35 meter. Segment inner dia is 5.8 meter. Segment thickness is 275 mm. Segment width is 1.4 meter. Total number of segment is 5 plus 1. The one is key segment. So total six segments to produce, to form one ring. Segment width is 19 ton. This is the setup of casting yard. Inspection of EPDM gasket. EPDM means ethylene propylene diene monomer gasket. The gasket will be fixed on the radial as well as circumferential joints to avoid the ingress of water flow when the tunnel construction was done. Here in EPDM, there are two type kind of tests need to be Conducted. The one is water tightness test, the, and the other, another one is elongation test. Production process of precast segment. First of all, the rebar cage fabrication. The rebar cage fabrication will be done with the help of zigs. Zig. Next, mold uh, depression. There should not be any dust, oil, or any foreign material available on the mold. So the mold should be cleaned. Then rebar placement and embedded component. Next, concrete batching and placing. Then water or steam curing of concrete. If we are using the water, water curing, it will take time. Minimum 14 days time is required. If we are using the steam curing, for the precast concrete segment, minimum three hours time is enough. Demolding and segment marking. 
for demolding minimum 12 megapascal compressive strength is required then only demolding is possible and the handling and storage then delivery and the transportation this is the uh, picture is showing the river catch fabrications and with the help of jigs this is the jigs this is called jigs this is concrete this picture is showing the concrete pouring on the mold the, there were 36 uh, Korean molds imported for the precast concrete segment production. Here, the concrete is poured through RMC, ready mix concrete. After the concreting, a bubble sheet will be placed over the finished concreting to maintain the hydration. Then, tarpaulin or PVC uh, cover should be covered in each mold to maintain the temperature. Here, the ambient, ambient tank. Temperature will be maximum 55 plus or minus 5 degrees Celsius will be used for the uh, steam curing. This is the trial rings assembly test. Trial ring assembly test is conducted to determine the lip step and the circumferential length of the ring. Here there are three rings were placed vertically to measure for the test. It can be done completion of every 500 precast segment rings. Preliminary consideration. Initially, we need to consider about the geology and the geotechnical investigation. Then surveying and alignment. Then sub subsurface utility identification. Then requirement of plant and machineries. Then instrumentation and monitoring. The stability of the if we are talking about the geotechnical investigation, the stability of the stability of the foundation of a building, a bridge. An embankment or any structure built on soil depends on the strength and the compressibility characteristic of the subsoil. The field and the laboratory investigation required to obtain the essential information on the subsoil is called soil exploration or soil investigation. Soil exploration involves broadly the following planning of a program for soil exploration, collection of disturbed and undisturbed soil or rock samples from the holes drilled in the field. The number and the depth of the holes depends on the depends upon the project. Conducting all the necessary in-situ tests for obtaining the strength and the compressibility characteristics of the soil or rock directly or indirectly. Study of the groundwater conditions and the collection of the water samples for chemical analysis. Conducting all the necessary tests on the sample of soil or rock and water collected. Preparation of charts, drawings, etc. Analysis of the data collected. Preparation of report. Then surveying and alignment. The selection of the tunnel alignment is depends on topography of the area, points of entrance and exit of the area, alignment to restaurants, then environmental conditions. Next, subsurface utility identification. Metro lines are mostly planned to run through the urban area. The proposed alignment may cause many properties, drainage, large number of surface, surface and utility services such as sewer, water mains, storm water drains, telephonic cables, electrical transmission lines, electrical pipes, etc. Next, plant and machineries. The requirement of machineries in TBM tunnel needs to be resourced well in advance. Firstly, the casting yard setup has to be constructed with the arrangement of boiler steam curing, precast concrete molds, batching plant, diesel storage unit, automatic cutting and bending machine, rebar jigs, compressor, electric welding machine, DG sets, canter crane, segment lifting devices, segment stacking layout. Secondly, tunnel boring machine, grout plant, gantry crane, cooling tower. Cooling tower should be have uh, 148 ton of refrigeration. It is also called TR. It, then, muck pit area, segment stacking area, dewatering system, sedimentation tank, DG sets, tally board, 
steel walkway, water pipe, etc. must be prepared. Next, instrumentation monitoring plan. Instrumentation in tunneling is significantly related to design and construction problems. An instrumentation program is most valuable for monitoring the project, designing future tunnels, and advancing the state of art. Some of the uh, instrument, uh, instrument devices has been mentioned here in the uh, PPT slide, such as uh, BSM, Building Settlement Marker, then Pavement Settlement Marker, then GSM, Ground Settlement Marker, then by reflex target, crack meter, inclinometer, tilt meter, piezometer, strain gauge, vibrometer, MBPX. MBPX means multi-point borehole extensometer. This is the schematic uh, layout of uh, Lucknow Metro project, tunnel, Lucknow Metro tunneling project. The total length is uh, 3.67 kilometer. So there are three stations, three underground stations are there, namely Usain Ganj, Sachewalaya, Hazrat Ganj. Then both of the both of the both end of the tunnel is having cut and cover tunnel. Here you can see the cut and cover tunnel is mentioned with the dimensions of 170, 120, sorry, 127 meter and 248 meter along with the ramp. Here you can see there are six numbers. The, the, between the tunnel, there are six blue color markings are the lines are there. That is called the cross passage. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Three cross passage has been constructed in Lucknow Metro project. And this red color circle is indicating the some some that means the grass passage with some facilities. TBM drives. There are three three drives has been constructed. The drive one consists of three cross passage, namely CP4, CP5, CP6, in which CP6 has the some facilities. In drive two consists of two, two cross passage, namely CP3, CP2, in which CP, CP2 has the some facility. Drive 3 consists of only one cross passage, CP1, with some facility be between South Cut and Cover and uh, Hussein Dens. Soil classification as per IS Indian Standard Code 1498-1970. Boulders. Particle size greater than 300 mm. Kabul, particle size between 80 mm and uh, 300 mm. Gravel, particle size between 4.75 mm and 80 mm. Sand, particle size between 0.075 mm and 4.75 mm. Silt, particle size between 0.002 mm and 0.075 mm. Clay, particle size smaller than 0.002 mm. This is the classification, classification scale of the soil. Next, classification of rock mass. The one is, it can be category classified into three categories. The one is RQD. The another one is RMR value. Then Q factor. The RQD is nothing but a rock quality designation to estimate rock mass quality from drill core log. RQD defined as the percentage of intact core pieces longer than 100 mm in the total length of core. Next one is RMR value. Rock mass rating. The RMR value depends on the following factors. One is uniaxial compressive strength, then RQD, then spacing of discontinuities, then condition of discontinuities, then groundwater condition, then orientation of, orientation of discontinuities. The, here we mentioned the RMR value according to the rock class, so like so class 1, class 2, class 3, class 4, class 5. Accordingly, the description has been mentioned here, uh, like uh, very good for class, first class rock, then good, fair, poor, very poor, very poor. Then Q factor. Q factor range is 0 0.01 to 1000. 
This is a comparison of excavation method in which drilling and blasting and hard rock, soft rock has been mentioned. For the drilling and uh, for the drilling and blasting, equipment cost is low. For the hard rock, TBM cost is higher, high, uh, as well as the soft rock, the TBM cost is high. The shape of the cross section is in drilling and blasting, arched shape at the ground. In rest of the hard rock and the soft rock, circle in shapes will be there. Then size of the cross section is it is possible up to 150 square kilometer square meter. Then approximately in soft hard rock, approximately 12 meter for the maximum dia. In soft rock, approximately 14 meter for the maximum dia. According to the geological condition, in drilling and blasting, the hard rock is suitable. In the hard rock, safe bearing capacity more than 200 megapascal will be there. In soft rock, it is not suitable. Like that, in semi hard rock, drilling and blasting is suitable, and hard rock is also suitable. Weak zones such as, such as fractured zones and aquifer, aquifer zones in drilling and blasting, various countermeasures become necessary. In hard rock, it is not suitable in area where weak ground or water inflow will be frequently incurred. In soft rock, it is applicable. In, in, in soil, in drilling and blasting is not applicable. For hard rock, not applicable. In soft rock, it is most suitable. According to the environmental conditions, we are talking about the noise and vibrations. In drilling and blasting, due to noise and vibrations, it is not suitable in the vicinity of houses and important structures. In hard rock, compared to drill DNB, there is less effect of noise and vibrations to the houses and important structures. In soft rock, there is less effect of noise and vibrations, vibrations to the houses and important structures. Next one is the photograph. Uh, this left this left color picture is indicating the shaft, and the TBM only the TBM has been loyal with the uh, with the bed of cradle. We actually there are seven number of cantic cranes are there, but uh, the due to this. Uh, Congested uh, shaft dimensions, we cannot lower all the T all the backup cantis. We can lower only the TBM. <coughs> and this right color picture is showing that the, the uh, locomotive is locomotive car is carrying some materials. Materials means uh, we can categorize into two types of materials. One is permanent materials, and another one is temporary materials. In permanent materials, Precast seg tunnel segment will be there, then hydro hy hydrophilic seal, then EPDM gasket, then load distribution pad, adhesive, segment bolt, cement, bentonite, sodium silicate, stabilizer, stabilizer, then segment repair material. In temporary materials, foam. Foam is for soil conditioning agent, and then polymer. Polymer is for standby soil conditioning agent. Then hydraulic oil, grease, tail seal grease, chloride for water treatment. Sequence, sequ sequences of ex ex execution. We can categorize as works on ground surface, works at the shaft, then works at the TBM. If we are talking about, about the works on the uh, ground surface, once precast segment is delivered inside, those segments must be inspected to check to check if the segment meet the acceptable standards. Inspection will be done on the trailer before unloading. Segments will be unloaded only after the quality check upon delivery has been done by an expert inspector. Then segment preparation. Prior to carrying precast segment into the tunnels, 
hydrophilic seal and a load distribution pad must be installed onto the sides, side faces of segments. EPDM gasket will be placed at the casting yard. Muck disposal. The belt conveyor system carries muck from the tunnel to the muck pit on the ground surface. Muck will be temporarily stockpiled in the muck pit and then loaded onto the dump trucks by a wheel loader for offset disposal. Next, mixing and pumping of backfill grout. There are two types of liquid will be there. One is liquid A and another one is liquid B. The liquid A is uh, a mixture of cement, uh, betonate, uh, water, stabilizer. And the liquid B is sodium silicate. We are using the sodium silicate to form a gel form, gel form of grout. Then works at the shaft. Tunnel segment lowering. After visual inspe inspection, precast segments will be loaded onto tunnel segment cars at the shaft using the gantry crane and then sent to the tunnel face for installation by the locomotive transport. Then service pipelines. Service pipes, cables and rails will be loaded onto segment cars and sent to the tunnel face or backup area for ex extension works. Next one is mucking. Muck conveyed from the tunnel side will be carried up to the ground surface by the vertical conveyor. The vertical conveyor connects to the next horizontal belt conveyor, which directs to the muck pit. Next one is works at the TBM. The excavation. TBM will excavate the tunnel with the earth pressure balance technique. The earth pressure applied to the TBM phase works to ensure the stability of the tunnel phase. Mucking. Excavated soil will be brought out the cutter head chamber through the screw conveyor and then loaded onto the conveyor, conveyor belt to the surface. Then segment erection. As the TBM advances for every 1.5 meter segmenter, a ring consists of six pieces of segment will be built inside the tail shield. Then rail service extension services. Rail and services lines are extended as the TBM progresses. These materials will be carried from the launching shaft to the necessary locations using a locomotive. The tunnel five, the tunnel four men at the shaft must ensure the rails or pipes are headed on to segment, segments properly. Then segment repair. Precast tunnel and invert segment, the segment must be handled with great care. However, segments may suffer from damage during the construction. Damaged segments will be inspected in accordance with the agreed procedure, not repaired as per the approved method. Backfill grout. Backfill grout will be injected to the annular voids between the bore and the segment lining in order to minimize the ground loss and to make a water sealing layer. Then secondary grout. The primary grout, the primary grout will fill any voids at the annular, annular gap of segment lining and create a responsible water sealant layer. There might be, however, several locations which, which are not fully filled and pro produce water leaks. Secondary grout will be injected where water leakage is observed. Bolt removal. Generally, bolts are not removed. But if the client is uh, approaching us to remove the bolt, then we can remove the bolt. Then survey, segment survey. The data collection system. That, that is also called enzyme system, will record construction, safety, and the environmental data. This includes the TBM data such as phase pressure, thrust force, hydraulic oil temperature, robotic survey results, gas monitoring, muck volume measurement. The data will be recorded as CSV file. That means the comma separated values. CSV file, which can be converted to Excel, Excel file, and they might be extracted to analyze when recorded. This photograph is indicating the cutter wheel, mixing arm, mixing chamber, 
screw conveyor screw conveyors the excavator muck material will be uh, conveyed through this uh, screw conveyor then the erector the erector will build the ring as already said there are six pieces of segment is there to form one ring so this erector will build the ring then build conveyor the uh, the excavator excavator material will be conveyed through this screw conveyor and will be this and will be conveyed through this build conveyor then this is the tunnel lining then tail brushes through the tail brushes tail skin grease will be applied then show jacks there are 60 number of jacks are there to advance the tbm the length of the actually our uh, uh, width of that uh, the ring is 1.4 meter but in jacks the maximum extended capacity of length is 2.15 meter that means uh, 2150 mm this is the the jacks the these jacks are used for the tunnel driving for the straight portions this is called articulation jacks we are using the articulation jacks only at the portion of curve. So in main jacks, we are using the uh, we are using the main jacks only for the straight portions. At the portion of curve, we are using the articulation jacks. Next one is TBM testing. In TBM testing, structural Anand, testing sir. will be... Anand, sir. sir yes, sir. I Sir, I think uh, uh, there are many international participants also who are attending this. So I would request you to kindly go a little bit slow so that they could comprehend. Uh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Kindly go, uh, uh, go a little bit slow. Thank you, sir. Thank you. TBM testing. In TBM testing, initially that uh, structural testing of TBM body then cutterhead cutter head need to be tested. Cutter head need to be tested in clockwise as well as anti-clockwise. Then TBM shield jack. The shield the shield jacks will be extracted and retracted, and the working pressure will be monitored. Next segment director. In offload condition, the segment director need to be tested and the maximum speed and the pressure will be noted. The screw conveyor, the screw auger, the screw auger will be rotated in class place as well as anti-clockwise portions and the test result will be noted. Then the grout injection devices. There are, in the tail shield, there are four number of port grout, grout ports will be there. That grout port, in that grout port, there should not be any uh, choking, choking should not be there. So that should be cleared before the commissioning of the TBM testing. Next, rail services or rail or services extensions. In every six meter rail extensions is required. In every six meter walkway to be connected. In every five meter tunnel lighting should be fixed. In every six meter, two numbers of two numbers of water line need to be extended. In every six meter discharge, that means a dewatering line should be done. In every six meter, grout line will be fixed. In every 10, 100 meter, ventil ventilation duct to be provided. In every 250 meter, high voltage cable should be provided. This is the main uh, facility. Here, access road, shaft, gantry cranes are there. Gantry crane capacity will be 40 ton. Then segment storage area. Then growth plant at the surface. Then generator. Generator means uh, actually we need 4,000 kVA capacity of uh, gen diesel generator uh, to run both the TBMs. For one TBM, we need minimum, we, we, we require 
2000 kVA. Then cooling tower. Cooling tower, two number of uh, cooling tower is required. Each should have 148 ton of refrigeration, TR. Then surface area, then storage area. This is the flow chart indicating the uh, <coughs> growth materials. Here, as already I said, liquid A, liquid B will be there. In liquid A, cement, bentonite, water, stabilizer will be there. This will pass through one pipe to the TBM mixer. Then liquid B, sodium silicate is there. This, this will separately uh, pass to the TBM location area. This is the ground ingredients. As per the design mix in India, the cement will be 400 kg, bentonite 15 kg, stabilizer 3 kg, sodium silicate 100 kg, water 790 kg. So the total uh, quantity of grout uh, is uh, 1,308 kg. Actually, for conducting the, we are conducting the uh, compressibility test for the grout cubes. That means 70 by 70 by 70 mm of cubes will be there in which grout will be, um, grout will be uh, poured after, after, after the 24 hours. That means after the one day, uh, we need to test the cubes. So the ultimately, the mi minimum 1.5 megapascal uh, compressive strength of uh, ground is recovered. Minimum 1.5 megapascal. This is the tail, tail, uh, tail shield. There are three type of shield will be there. One, the one is front shield. Another one is middle shield. The last one is uh, tail shield. In tail shield, you can see there are four port one, port one, port two, port three, port four are there in which grouts are supplied to stabilize the ring. This is the secondary grouting. This in this segment there is a hole. It is the the, the purpose of, the purpose of the hole is one for lifting the segment and the another for another one for uh, to supply the secondary grouting. Wherever the primary grouting is not not sufficient in the annular gap, then we are injecting the secondary grouting. Total weight we used the TerraTech. TBM machine, TerraTech, TerraTech manufactured by Australia. So there are uh, different types of TBM are there in which in this case, the total weight, weight of the TBM is 305.5 ton, in which Cutterhead is having 32.5 ton, screw conveyor 19 ton, erector 19 ton, front and middle ship both having 208 ton, then tail sheet 27 ton. Fixing of electrical motors to rotate the cutter head. There are 10 number of... Sumit sir, is, is it working? The speed is working? There are 10 number of electrical motors are there to rotate the cutter head. Each has 55 kilowatts. Backup gantries and overview. This is the backup gantries, seven number of backup gantries kept at the surface. Seven numbers of backup gantries. In gantry number one, operator cabin, hydraulic systems will be there. In gantry number two, growth system, VFT panel. That means a variable frequency drive will be there. In gantry number three, additives and foam systems. Then power distribution systems are there. In gantry number four, transformer, cooling water reservoir, and dewatering systems are there. In gantry number five, emergency generator. In gantry number six, material storage. In gantry number seven, cable and, and host storage. Then booster fan is there. 
this is the setup of initial drive. Here, the T beam has been placed and uh, along with the temporary segments. There are there are eight numbers of temporary segments has been placed along with the uh, temporary reaction frames. Why we used this? Uh, why we are using the temporary thrust, uh, thrust frame along with the temporary segment rings? Because in the in the soil strata, active uh, uh, earth pressure will be there to counteract the when the TBM is moving uh, moving forward the pressure will become opposite side. So to counteract the uh, active earth pressure, we are installing this uh, temporary reaction frames. This is uh, this picture is showing the diaphragm wall breaking for initial drive. Initially, we need in the uh, diaphragm wall, we need to do the marking, survey marking, then core cutting, after that, uh, breaking will be there. So here in B wall, we are not going to use the conventional reinforcement bars. Instead of that, we are using GFRP, glass fiber reinforced polymer bars, because it, 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 is, it can be breakable. So we are using the uh, GFRP. Launching eye shield, eye seal. It is this. It is also called as ball flex. Ball flex are fixed on the uh, D wall because when we are going to uh, in, install install the construct install the permanent first permanent ring. After that, grout will be injected. So to prevent the grout, to prevent the excess grout, we are using the ball flex. This is the uh, temporary reaction frames. As I said, the two it is installed because to counteract the active earth pressures, we are installed this uh, temporary reaction frames. Initial drive: the rings used for advancing the TBM along the cradle and into the ground. Only temporary rings, but must be built accurately for allowing the first permanent ring to build within tolerances. Steel packages, steel pa pa packing builder in steel skin for centralizing rings will while TBM is on the cradle. Here you can see this uh, six, uh, there are 16 number of wire rope tied with the cradle to stabilize, to stabilize these uh, temporary rings. Again, I am telling, Along with this cradle, there is a steel wire rope, 16, 16 mm of steel wire rope has been tied over the temporary uh, ring. Actually, this is a small video, but it is it cannot be able to play here. This is a sample uh, ring erection video uh, when we worked for the Bangalore Metro. So it was captured, but unfortunately it is it is not able to play. The client, the LMRC, Lucknow Metro Railway Corporation, their client representatives inspecting at the ring building area. This is the rail line extension for locomotive movement inside the tunnel. This display is showing the TBM parameters like uh, ring number. Here you can see 60 is mentioned, uh, ring number, jack positions. Here in circle shape, in circle, in circle portions, it was mentioned the number of uh, there are uh, uh, sorry, total 60 number of jack positions are mentioned. Then alignment, you can see the yellow line. The yellow line is indicating the alignment. It is called DTA. Design tunnel axis. So either side 50 mm, 50 mm, total 100 mm is the tolerance. 
it should not exceed 100 mm then earth earth pressure earth pressure will be displayed here according to the geological inter interpretation report we are following we, we should follow the uh, earth pressure earth pressure next one is next one is grout primary grout one quantity and the pressure will be indicated on this display next foam foam we are using foam foam is for soil conditioning agent if we are using the foam then we can easily excavate the uh, muck material tunnel from the tunnel phase so uh, the 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 other advantages also having with this foam it will reduce the wear and tear of the cutter head next uh, pitch and roll positions it will indicate the pitch and the roll of the machine roll of the tbm machine position then articulation articulation there are 10 numbers of articulation jacks will be there it which will be used for the uh, the curve to excavate the curve for curve portion next screw conveyor through this screw conveyor uh, the excavated muck material will be carried out from the cutter chamber then gas monitoring in every four four uh, four hours gas monitoring will be conducted manually as well as uh, through this display in this enzal system we can able to know the gas values uh, like carb oxygen level carbon dioxide uh, nitric oxide uh, sulfur dioxide then carbon uh, carbon monoxide This is the challenging. This is the challenging job we have done in the Lucknow Metro project. TBM driving under low power border. It is also called Hyder Canal. Hyder Canal is in Kushinganj area of Lucknow, India. The densely populated area is very congested, with limited access to any investigation and construction activities. All buildings along the banks of the canals are mostly brick works with no proper foundation for even G plus two, ground plus two floors, storied buildings. TBM mining in urban areas, particularly under low power burden, less than 0.5 D. Our dia is, for example, six meter. That means 0.5 D, means uh, three meter, three meter power burden is a big challenge to design is a big challenge to design team as well as excavation team our tbm had to cross 50 meter length under less than 1 meter over burden the criticality was that not only the stability of the tbm due to uplift both banks of drainage during tbm driving due to possible high volume ballast as the banks considered of mostly mad ground materials. Also, most structures on the drainage banks, non-engineering structures, whose stability due to vibration of TPM was another concern. Overall, looking at these aspects, it was proposed to, to drive TPM by controlling TPM mining parameters. Excavation of cast in situ piles along with the thick concrete slab. Soil pile monolithic system was built in canal bed without harassing the canal flows. Monitoring of ground surface. We used here BSM, building settlement mark, mark, marker, tilt plate, crack meter, by reflex target, GSM, ground settlement marker, MPPX, multi-point borehole extensometer, then physometer to know the water level. Then TBM parameter monitoring during mining. Face pressure. Face pressure. The range of the face pressure was according to the design 0 0.3 bar to 1 bar. The force, the thrust force, maximum thrust force we used to 18,000 kilonewton and the cutter torque 1500 meter maximum. The cutter torque was 1500 kilonewton maximum, sorry, kilonewton meter maximum. 
then growth volume 130 percentage of excavator volume then growth pressure 2 to 3 bar was there this is the risk assessment of either canal damage to the buildings lying on both banks during tbm mining due to uncontrolled volume loss and a large extent damage along with partial collapse of structures significant movement of ground lay ground lying on banks due to volume loss during tbm driving and possible failure of the bank slopes drop of face pressure during mining due to weak ground encountered and loss of ground at face along with collapse of face and hindrance to tbm movement then ingress of water from cutter chamber as mining done under the canal and the possible flooding inside the tbm and the ring built design proposal prior to construction of the slab a number of 400, 400 dia cast in situ concrete piles were bored for a depth of 20 meter at a spacing of 3D. D means pile dia. The pile holes were punctured slightly higher than pile dia and bored piles constructed using percussion drilling method techniques. The, to the total thickness of 1.4 meter that means 1400 mm per slab was executed in two stages of 500 plus 900 mm finally the whole canal flow was restored to its original condition this is some of the glimpse of pictures took in the hyder canal here some of the worker involved to to pour the grout in the buildings. This is, this is the foul water diversions. Slab casting to contract uplift above the pile. This is the position of cutter head after the breakthrough. This picture is showing the dismantling of middle Shield tunneling by cast. Actually, we we started the tunneling project on the year of uh, uh, 2000, uh, 2016 November November 2016 to April 2018. It took around uh, one and a half years to complete the tunneling projects by the TBM. Uh, so, so assembly of TBM at site excavation and the erection of permanent lining segment. It costs USD 2 crore 21 lakhs 83,061. Casting of segment, grouting and segment repairing, construction of cross passage and inward concrete. It took USD 79 lakhs 95,630. Construction of cut and cover tunnel and underground ramp costs here, excavation of soil, including stud, water support, including dewatering, etc., it costs USD 20 lakhs 18,376. Construction of D wall, soldier pile, soldier pile, walls, B walls, beams, roof slab, and base slab, it took USD 72 lakhs 96,921. Some of the safety issues we faced in tunnel construction. So here we uh, again mentioned the uh, risk and also the medic mitigations. Segment transportation from casting yard to the tunnel site. Lifting plan should be implemented. Com competency certificate re certified rigor must be deployed during unloading the segment. The swing area and overhead power supply line should be considered. Train operation during TBM assembly to be TBM dismantling, segment lowering, excavated muck removal. Consideration about load chart and ASLI, automatic safe load indicator. Ground settlement during the mining, such as historic, historical buildings, religious buildings, hospitals, commercials, and residential buildings. 
instrumentation and monitoring, illumination and gas monitoring performed. We, we also conducted the real time instrumentation and, and monitoring. Anand sir, Anand sir, sir can we take a, a, a five minutes break? We can resume the session at five eight eight o five. Okay. Okay. Sure, sir. And uh, participants, I've been seeing your questions. We'll take these questions uh, after the break. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, sir. Right, right. Thank you. Morning in progress. Welcome, sir. Anand, sir, are you there? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. I'll come back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So I'll take up some questions, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Ayush is asking. Uh, by which parameters we decide to choose whether we have to go with top down or bottom down approach? Yes, sir. It's very good, good question, sir. Actually, <clears throat> I am telling you, I am telling you that I am telling you the case case study. Actually, in Bangalore Metro, we use the bottom up method because the geological because of the geological conditions. In Bangalore Metro, we face the mixed mixed geological condition, including hard rock. So in the hard rock, we cannot be able to do the uh, top-down method. It is only possible bottom-up method by doing the drilling and busting. So that okay. is the criteria. The mainly okay. the geological condition. It is depends upon the geological conditions whether we do the um, uh, bottom-up method or top-down method. And also in top-down method, in urban congested area, we can propose for the uh, top down method that is called diaphragm wall method. Okay, thank you, sir. Next question, Ribuvan Kumar is asking why water leakage is seen in Indian metro tunnel and prevention method. How to prevent it during construction itself? Sir, it is also very good questions. So, what in the casting yard we have to before sending the precast segment to the tunnel site area, we have to thoroughly check the precast tunnel segment that's there should not be any single error that is called that is called uh, uh, we should uh, avoid the precast tunnel segments it should not greater than 0 0.002 mm if 0 0.002 mm cracks identified then immediate, immediately it should be rejected and also in the construction, in the tunnel construction, once the tunnel construction is completed, we can see we can see there is a possibility to develop the cracks because of the thrust force. If we are if we are uh, giving the thrust force more than 20 kilonewton, it is possible to develop the uh, cracks. So it is normal. It, it is normal. It is. Uh, the crack is uncontrollable. It is uh, everywhere. You can in everywhere in everywhere you can see the cracks developments. But uh, uh, and also the low load distribution are both the plywood packing that is called load distribution pad must be installed in the tunnel segments. So okay. what finally what I am trying to say. Uh, in the casting yard itself, we have to thoroughly check the segment, sir. Okay. Sir, uh, Mohammed is asking, could you please explain the access requirement for launching TBM for tunnel boring? For tunnel boring? Access means uh, the shaft, through the shaft only. The Actually, the shaft dimensions will be 20, 22 or 23 meter by 20 meter. Through the shaft, we have we need to lower the uh, cradle, then TBM front shield, TBM middle shield, TBM tail shield. So it is impossible to lower all the TB uh, all the backup countries, seven number of backup countries. So so in, so initially initial drive need to be constructed. Later on, main drive will be converted into converted sir. If, okay. if if Mr. Mohammed is want to any more clarification, please tell him to talk with me directly right now. Okay. I think, sir, this is good enough. We'll take these uh, questions later after your presentation. I'll take one more question. Uh, which articulation is better in more curve alignment, active or passive? Passive, sir. Passive articulation is more. 
Okay. And secondary grout is injected after how much, how many rings? No, immediately. Immediately we can inject. After the primary grouting, immediately we can inject. Uh, immediately means every five meters. For example, every five meter we can inject, we can go for the secondary grouting to fill the annular gaps. Okay. Perfect, sir. So you may resume your session, sir. Please continue with your session. Right, sir. Thank you. We'll take rest of the question after the presentation is done to save okay, time. Okay, sir. Okay. So next, safety issues in tunnel construction. Risk involved and the mitigations. Ground settlement due to lesser overburden. Example, Hyder Canal. Grouting on existing huts and the emergency evacuation plan we have done. During the removal of temporary rings or segments, sequence of dismantling of segment plan should be implemented and the items should be checked, such as lifting plan, sling straightness, asli limit switch. Local movement inside the tunnel, particularly at curve zone. Detection of local speed, otherwise it is possible to lead derailment. These are the uh, gases we can monitor in the tunnel site, like uh, oxygen should be, the limit should be 19 to 23 volume percentage, uh, methane 4.4 volume percentage, carbon monoxide to be confirmed at the site, uh, sulfur dioxide 2 ppm for long term and 5 ppm for short term, nitric oxide 25 ppm for long term and 35 ppm for short term. The achievement of the Lucknow Metro project, Lucknow Metro Tunnel project is the tunneling project was completed two months ahead of ahead from the stipulated time period. There is no settlement or damage on the existing various structures in the tunnel stretch. The project was successfully completed with zero accident. Some of the TBM manufacturers in the globe, Herangnet, TerraTech. This TerraTech machine we used for the Lucknow Metro project. Then Robbins, Sely, THI, Hitachi Zosen, NFM, Mitsubishi, Steck, Kawasaki, Komatsu, Caterpillar, CRPG, CRCHI, and some other more. This is the next we are going to see the cross passage. Cross passages are an important safety feature that allows people to move from one tunnel to other in unlikely event of an emergency during operational phase. Uh, shortly telling uh, CPs, cross passages means CPs. CPs are important elements of twin, twin tube rail or metro tunnels, maintenance and the emergency mode of tunnel operations. To build a cross passage, according to the NFPA, National Fire Protecting Agency, minimum 244 meter interval is required to construct the cross passage. Three activities in cross passage. Initially, survey marking to be done on the tunnel segment in every 300 mm center to center with the umbrella type pattern. Core cutting has to be performed on the red marking. Core poling with the perforated rod approximately 4 meters to be inserted followed by grouting. So the total length of the cross passage will be 8 meters. Uh, fixation of temporary steel structure in the main tunnel prior to removal of segment pieces. Excavation has to be carried out within with the mini, with the mini excavator in heading and benching manner. This is the four polling technique, four polling on core cut area. This uh, our initially survey marking will be carried out then uh, uh, with the help of ROC, rock overhead uh, crawl, crawler or uh, with the ROC that uh, drilling need to be performed. Then grout mixing for four pulling. Here we are using simply gr simply grout uh, cement and uh, force rack material of CBEX hundred. Proper supporting 
before pulling the each pieces of segments uh, that uh, steel structures has to be placed over the tunneling area then this u clamp then core cutting will be performed then u clamp is the which will be pulling the pieces of the segment 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 pieces this is initial man initial manual heading excavation. Heading excavation by excavator. Fixing up after the excavation, we need to install the uh, install the wire mesh uh, with its six mm thickness. Then uh, seal coat of short cutting will be performed. Seal coat fifty mm fifty mm seal coat will be. Uh, seal 50 mm seal coat of uh, short will be performed. The later than lattice cadre will be uh, fixed. Later, the, the dimensions of the width of the uh, later cadre will be uh, 180 mm. Then for 200 mm, again short cutting will be performed because short, short cutting acts as a form of temporary support. This is the a benching excavation and reinforcement fixing. It is performed uh, if the reinforcement has been fixed at the collar junction. Collar junction joins of the both 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 side of cross passage. This is the waterproofing system. After the short creating, uh, 500 micron thickness of geotextile membrane has to be placed placed in geotextile membrane. Then waterproof two mm thickness of waterproofing membrane has to be fixed with the lap of 80 mm to 100 mm using the torch weld torch welding. After after the after placing the waterproofing membrane, again we need to uh, co uh, cover the geotextile membrane as a protective coat for the reinforcement because. Because otherwise, this reinforcement will damage the waterproofing membrane. That's why we are initially we are putting the geotextile membrane, then uh, waterproofing uh, membrane. After that, again geotextile membrane to protect the reinforcement. To protect the reinforcement. Insertion of service pipelines before deshuttering. Before deshuttering. Shuttering on the finished reinforcement of lining. We are uh, we are doing the shuttering into two into two mode. The total, as I said, the total length of the cross meshes will be four eight meter. So in two in two types, we are insert the uh, uh, shuttering with four meter plus four meter. Collar junction side shuttering and concreting. Invert floor concrete. This is an invert floor concrete. In this, in this completed cross process, we are not used to any sum. Finished view of cross passage. Material consumption. Lattice guider act as a primary support. Four pieces to form a ring. Wire mesh. Six mm thickness of 150 mm center to center mesh. Utilized by fixing before the activity of short creek. Short creek act as shoring for immediate excavation. Waterproofing membrane, 2 mm thickness along with 500 micro geotextile membrane. Lintel jam, ISMB 150 for color junction structures. Concrete, invert concrete M35 grade. In color junction, we cannot be able to do the vibration after the concrete. So we used it. SEC. SEC means uh, self compacting con concrete. So the grade was M50. Then the lining concrete, M50 grade. Add mixer, CPEX. There is a spelling mistake, sir. CPEX, I mentioned the CPEX. It is not CPEX. It is called CPEX. It is a four, four stack material. CPEX 100 uh, per bag of cement for garotic purpose. Then GI pipes for drainage arrangement in some. 300 mm dia and 200 mm PVC for collect the water from main tunnel to sump. In left side picture, you can see the cement bag, ultra tech cement bag, and uh, this small packet is CPEX content materials.
and in right side you in the right side picture you can see the geotextile membrane 500 micro geotextile membrane this is the lintel jam placed in left side picture and in right side picture you can see the lattice garden involvement of machineries and equipment core cutting machine 100 dia for four poling and segment removal 150 mm dia for dewatering pipes 200 dia for fire hydrant then roc or jack hammer rock overhead graveler or jack hammer for four poling my pump my pump for grounding activities hydra for lifting and lowering the objects mini excavator possible excavator inside the cross passage the maximum digging depth is around 8.5 meter air compressor or receiver tank to facilitate by supplying air with a pneumatic pump for short drilling dumper the excavated material which will be carried out for disposal transit mixer mini transit mixer utilized in the confined tunnel with 4 cubic meter capacity needle or plate vibrator 40 mm and 80 mm of different vibrator vibrators used for compaction safety precautions during cross passage activity gas monitoring shall be ready shall be read every 4 hours and the result displayed on the tally board emergency lighting units must be provided at the cp location cross passage location the communication system must be installed to communicate with the surface in charge in case of any emergency the signage system must be proper for exit from the tunnel in emergency cases proper ventilation provided during the work process instrumentation and monitoring during cross passage activities piezometer to check the water table at the cp location before start the excavation then mpbx multiple multi point bore hole extensometer are installed in bore, bore hole to monitor dispersed dispersed dispers placements during excavation of cp at various depths using rods of different materials and lengths pavement settlement marker psm shall be fixed at surface to check surface settlement 3d target 3d targets are fixed inside tunnel inside tunnel at the profile section to check the settlement of tunnel profile this is the picture is showing on site monitoring of instrumentations here in picture number 1 and picture number 2 the the technicians involved to Uh, measure the vibration vibrometers to measure the vibrations during the vehicle movement in the last pictures you can see the mbpx it is in state has been installed uh, between the cross passages in the left side picture you can see the 3d targets to know the deviations or settlements repairing for seepage material seepage adjustment in the cross passage we found some of the seepages so to control the uh, flow water flow the concrete surface shall be thoroughly abraded to remove all latents any traces of loose material oil grease or any other material that might affect adhesion shall be removed from the surface the entire surface shall be washed with water and allowed to dry the cracks shall be sealed with epoxy putty ito coat vf or sika glue putty or equivalent on both sides of on both sides if cracks are through the thickness of the structure drill the holes up to 50 to 70 mm and fix 30 mm dia of nrv nozzles nrv nozzles means non retainable non retainable valves at a spacing of 250 to 300 mm center to center packers shall be fixed using rapid setting mortar render of plug or equivalent the packer shall be fixed at 45 degree and in staggered position inject high strength epoxy grout material 
such as master jet 1315 or shikadur 53 or equivalent up to a pressure of 2 bar this is the repairing uh, methodology for arresting the seepage seepage this is this picture is showing the cp with some facility here you can see up to 1 meter below the ground man man ground was the was there after that silty clay silty silty sand is there so after after the silty sand silty clay presence are there you can see the green color is showing the uh, sump sump to collect the water then that will be dewatered through the water pipe dewatering pipe so maximum uh, in lucknow metro we used we digged for the sump around uh, 4 meter 4 meter methodology for constructing the sump in cross process we need to dig the soil by giving the proper support such as uh, installation of wire mesh following the followed by that is done then short creating will be performed then reinforcement placing the reinforcement then con lining concrete will be there this third picture is showing the manhole manhole some concrete after the desertory completed portion of some Lessons we learned in this webinar is geological study before starting tunneling project, survey and alignment, subsurface utility identification, requirement of plant and machinery, instrumentation and monitoring, casting yard setup and work sequence, the entire operation of TBM tunneling with EPB technique, challenging activity that is Hyder Canal, then construction of cross passage. That's it, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Anand Kumar, sir. Thank you for this wonderful and insightful presentation that you made today for our participants. And we'll take up the remaining questions that uh, have been posted. If you like, um, uh, if you have more queries, please feel free to write them in the chat box. We'll take them up. Uh, sir, I'll take up a question from Pradesh Nair, who had posted these uh, three questions. So what is the difference between EPBM and SBM? Yes, sledding, EPB and sledding. Yes. What is the difference between EPBM versus SBM? Not SPM, sir. It is called a sledding. Tip, sledding. Sledding. Actually, okay. in EPB, we are we are giving the pressure to counteract the from from to counteract the active earth pressure from the tunnel surface. So pressure will act as a medium. In slurry, clay material through the pipe, we will be supplying the clay material, CMC monomer, that will be supplied through the pipe to counteract the active earth pressure. That is the difference. But in, 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 in uh, EPP, the excavated material will be disposed through the uh, screw conveyor and it will be uh, diverted to the belt conveyor. But in case of uh, steady TBM, the crusher unit will be there inside the uh, TBM that will be discharged through the pipe. One, for example, if we are, if there are three underground station, means in one station, the main uh, unit will be there that uh, to dispose the steady. So that is the difference, sir. Okay. Sir, what are the types of D TBM machines and the factors affecting selections of uh, respective machines? T TBM machines means we can say there are uh, more number of uh, TBM machines are there. Um, here in India, we are using single, single shield TBM machines. That is, uh, for example, if we are talking, if we are talking about uh, Herangjand. Herangjand is uh, one of the good uh, uh, TBM machines. It was uh, manufactured from Germany. And uh, in Herangjand uh, TBM machine, the consumption of heat will be reduced. 
in rest of the dvms electric motors will be there in heraction uh, her motors hydraulic motors will be there so the consumption of the heat will be less in rest of, in uh, for example i cannot say the brand name <laughs> here i cannot say able to, able to say the brand name but uh, in other dvms uh, heat consumption consumption will be higher and uh, and also the cost wise we, we need to uh, focus on the cost cost wise also some of the dvms are very higher and the rest of the dvms are very uh, cheaper Constantly. and also in china if we talk about the china china it is uh, china china is producing dvms for lower cost so that is also can be purchased okay sir what is the uh, how much load uh, thrust frame how much load uh, should we give during initial drive sir according to the design sir the, according to the designer design maximum thrust force in the machine will be 40000 kN sir but during in the initial drive we have to give very less thrust force it is depends upon the geological conditions but after the main drive, up to 22,000 uh, kN thrust force can be possible. We can give. Okay. But if the thrust force is more and the cutter, cutter torque is more and the speed is more, then we need to go for the cutter head intervention. Cutter head intervention. So initially, we need to give less thrust force during in the initial drive. I cannot say the exact value. It is depends upon the uh, geological condition. So according to uh, silt and sand geology, what is the opening ratio of the cutter head? No, I, I, I have no, I am not sure about it. Okay, sir, sure how you calculate the face pressure uh, by taking average values of which formulas? How do you no, calculate this? For, for calculating the face pressure, we need to know the water coefficient of water coefficient of uh, uh, soil and depth, overburden, these things need to be, and geological conditions, these need, factors need to be considered. That the ge geologist will uh, take over the responsibility. Basically, I am a site-based site person, so I am not a designer, but anyway, to uh, to uh, Calculate the phase process, as I said, uh, coefficient of soil, coefficient of water, uh, overburden, interval, the ring wise interval, water table, geological conditions, they need to be considered. Sir, one more question. What is the criteria for method choosing of tunneling method like TBM or cut and cover? In urban congested area, we cannot go for the everywhere we cannot go for the cut and cover sir we need to go for the uh, tbm method because it is fast it is uh, faster it is costly but but it is speed we can construct the uh, stretch in a very quick manner okay. in t in uh, in cut and cover it is a, it generally it will be a lesser length after the after completion of the uh, stations, then cut and cover cut tunnel will be there to connect to connect up to the ramp. Okay, okay, right. okay. Uh, I think we've done with the questions. Uh, so uh, thank you, Anand Kumar sir. Thank you for your uh, time and this insight insightful presentation. And participants, uh, I hope you enjoyed the today's session and found this useful. Uh, I would request you to type in C O O L cool to uh, help us understand that you really liked the session and found this insightful. Please type cool in the chat box so that we could uh, take away that this session was valuable for you and you were able to take uh, some valuable output from this presentation. Okay. Uh, thank you so thank much. You. Thank, you. Thank, thank you, all. sir. Thank you for you and thank you for the participants. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, participant. Thank you so much. And have a wonderful yes. evening ahead. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And this recording of this session will be available on our YouTube channel. You can check it tomorrow. We'll uh, most probably be uploading it by uh, afternoon tomorrow. So another 12 hours, we'll get this uploaded. And uh, please follow our YouTube channel and LinkedIn uh, page so that uh, we, we are planning to organize a, 
master class on high speed uh, uh, rail project signaling in the month of April, 24th of April. So we would like you to register for that webinar also. Uh, it will be conducted on 24th of April, Saturday. So uh, looking forward to see you in that webinar as well. So that webinar will talk about uh, high speed rail projects which are coming up in UAE region and uh, concepts of railway signaling that is utilized in those high speed uh, rail projects. So I look forward to seeing you in that webinar as well. Thank you so much. Thank you for you. Thank you. Thank you, Mohamed. Thank you.